developing story tonight. Another dog attack turns deadly. A young woman died from these injuries of this vicious mauling. There were two dogs. This was yesterday in Port Huron. Tonight's 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us one of the key questions of this tragedy may never be answered. We have no idea why or for what reason she went into the backyard. Why did 22 year old Rebecca Hardy climb over the fence? The dogs that were inside their own backyard were barking at her, and once she was on the other side, a pit bull and husky attacked. This, this pit bull had, a, had a quite a grip on her neck. He'd also bit her several times in the face, causing extensive damage to her face. Uh, the husky was also in the backyard. She latched onto the uh, victim down in her lower leg area. I can't even imagine. I couldn't see her face. I couldn't touch her hair. I could only hold her hair. <laughs> Hardy, the mother of 18 month old Molly, died from her injuries, leaving loved ones devastated and angry. A dog that's that vicious, it almost ate her head right off. Ate her ears off, tore the esophagus right out of her throat or jugular vein. Um, to have a dog like that in a city like this. It was murderous. It was murderous and criminal and evil. The owners of the dogs declined to comment, but relatives say they are devastated at what happened to Hardy. Their dogs have been seized and taken to animal control. And Port Huron police say they will be recommending that they both be put down. This is not a dog that's just protecting its backyard and takes a bite or is barking and trying to alert somebody not to come in. The attack was very vicious. This dog um, got a hold, actually both dogs were involved in the tag, but um, particularly the pit bull, got a hold of the female, wouldn't let go, and caught ex caused extensive damage to her. And Port Huron police say we may never know why Hardy climbed over the fence where the dogs were. She lived only two blocks away and had just had some sort of disagreement with her boyfriend when they say she left the house barefoot to get some air. I just can't imagine what she was thinking. Regardless if your dog's in a fenced-in yard, if it's that kind of vicious dog, uh, it needs more control. In Port Huron, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. And we have a